His lordship is a paranoid schizophrenic. Paranoid schizophrenic? But he's a gurney. Then he's a paranoid schizophrenic gurney who believes he's God. But we've always been Church of England. His idea of the world we live in is determined solely by his feelings. What he feels is, is. If my nephew is bonkers, why the blazes did you let him out? He's a voluntary patient in a private clinic, free to go whenever he chooses. His father insisted on no official certification. If you want him detained here permanently, you must bring him before the Board of Control or get a master in lunacy to sign an order. Later, after we've got a few things settled. From a medical point of view, a plunge into the working world won't do the Earl any harm. Won't do him any harm? What about the rest of us? He's not dangerous. Besides, I shall be on hand. It'll be an interesting experiment. A harsh dose of reality can help towards a cure. Cure? You've had him here for seven years. Look at him. What have you been doing? Exercising patience and understanding. Something he'll need from his family. Yes, but why haven't you used a knife? Because lobotomy is irrelevant and dangerous in this case. He can't forget being rejected by his mother and father at the age of 11. They sent him away, alone, into a primitive community of licensed bullies and pederasts. You mean he went to public school? Exactly. I am the Lord Jesus come again in my own body to heal the sick, the troubled and the ignorant. I am he that liveth and behold, I am alive for everyone. Is everybody happy? Now hear this. I come to proclaim the new dispensation. The gospel dispensation promised only salvation to the soul. The new dispensation gives it to the body as well. Jesus Christ, Mark 1, suffered to redeem the spirit and left the body separated from God. So Satan found a place in man and formed in him a false love, a love of self. Explode! Only feel. Love and sin no more. Most everything you touch, see and feel glorifies my love. The top hat is my mother. And the walking stick my rod. Oh dear. Oh, once I get started, it's, it, it's terribly difficult to stop. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's fascinating. How do you know you're God? A simple. When I pray to him, I find I'm talking to myself. I see. Well, how did it happen? How did you come to be in this state of grace? Like every prophet, I saw visions, heard voices, I ran. But the voices of St. Francis, Socrates, General Gordon, and Timothy O'Leary all told me I was God. It was Sunday, August 25th at 3.32. I heard a terrible thunderclap and saw a body of light like the light from the sun and red as fire. I cried, Hallelujah, Lord, what will you do? But the light vanished, a blackness, a darkness, until a great brush dipped in light, swept across the sky, and I saw the diversity, distinction, variety, all clearly rolled up into the unity of universal love. Where did all this happen? East Acton, outside the public urinal. What does it feel like to be God? Like a river flowing everywhere. I pick up a newspaper and I'm everywhere, conducting a summit conference, dying of hunger in a Peruvian gutter, accepting the Nobel Prize for literature, raping a nun in Sumatra under this protective out of shell. I'm God-filled. Your Lordship, Sir Ch just That a moment. What the? I haven't finished yet. Sir Charles Gurney, my lord. Insolent clown. I heard that, Sir Charles. Oh, the world's gone mad. You'll have to go. I think we'd better wait. Somebody new mightn't understand the situation. Why is he hanging on with 30,000 in the bank? Out of love. Love? Tucker, rot. Now, my boy, there's certain matters to do with the estate that need clearing up. Nothing important, just need your signature. Gives me power to handle odd things. Of course, Uncle. Well, there's no need to read it. Just take my word. I take your word. I put on my glasses because I feel cold. Where do I sign? Just there. Excellent, excellent. Easily done, eh? I, the undersigned, Mycroft Holmes. Who's Mycroft Holmes? Brother of Sherlock Holmes, you illiterate oaf. But your name's Jack. Never call me that! Jack's a word I reject absolutely. It's a word I put into my galvanized pressure cooker. Rape! Jack's dead. All right, all right. What should we call you then? 
any of the nine billion names of God. Your Lordship will do, or J.C., Eric, Bert, Barney, Entwistle. I know exactly who I am. You asked for these, my lord. Burn them, Mr. Tucker, burn them. The great Scott, man, these are coronation robes. Not of tradition here, my lord. The axe must be laid to the root, Uncle Charles. Pride and riches, pomp and property, all must be lopped off. Love makes all men equal. I love you dearly, Uncle Charles. Keep them if you feel so lost. Join me in a constitutional before lunch, Mr. Tucker. Enjoy yourselves while I'm gone. Relax. Have sex. <laughs> My God! Yes? No, 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 nothing. 